From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley on today's Cash Close. You know what we're going to call this video? We're going to call this the S&P 500 Shake and Bake. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 1980.30, mid-morning. The low came in at 1973.80, early in the day. And last, we're 1978 even, we're up 11.7 handles. Total volume, we've got one point, it's kind of low. We've got low volume, 1.2 million minis trade and 4.4 thousand big S&Ps trade in the pit. MOC, we had 100 million to buy. Now look, it's been an extreme, it's been an extremely slow day and it's gonna, and tomorrow's economic calendar is extremely slow also. We've got the MBA purchase applications, we've got the EIA petroleum status numbers, and then we've got earnings from Delta, Boeing, Facebook, Dow Chemical, EMC, Texas Inter Instruments, and a host of other names. Now look, we've got Microsoft and Apple reporting right now after the close. And I took a little long going into the close, we made a little bit of money late in the day, but you know what, I gotta tell you. I got this funny feeling about this rally. It's, it's almost like it feels like it's got no legs, but it won't stop going up. And I'm like, I'm like a lot of you guys out there. I agree. The S&P can't keep going up like this without some kind of major correction. But I want to go back to that same thing that I keep pounding on, and that's the old zero rates. It almost deflects all the negatives, and it turns everything into a buying opportunity. Now, my own feeling is that my own feeling was that we would make new highs this week, and I still think we're going to. But that said, if you're following this up a day price, up a day, down a day price action that I've talk, been talking about, today is well, today will be the seventh day of up down price action, and if that's the case, I know this sounds so stupid. Tomorrow should be a down day. If today was up, tomorrow should be down. It's so stupid, I don't even really want to say it. But the other part that the pit bull pointed out to me just a few minutes ago was going into the cash flows, there was only 410 million shares traded on the big board. And then he went on to say, yeah, they'll do another 200 and something thousand on the cash flows itself, meaning that a third of the day's volume will be printed in, onto the cash flows. This seems pretty stupid to me. But that said, that's how we live. That's how these traders, you know, that's how we go every day of the week. Nothing's changing there. But as I tried to explain on the, on the Twitter today, I think as we go into the end of July and into August, a lot more people are going to be stepping, taking a step back and going on vacations. And that's going to even create a greater thin to win environment. That said, we're going to leave it like that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the opening print.